This video is just for fun. I was fooling around the other day and then someone else asked this question uh, on uh, how to add more workspaces to your Linux desktop. Uh, familiar with workspaces, they're your different little desktops. You have your little panel down here at the bottom that lets you switch between them. Currently I'm in what's called wall mode, which lets me slide through my desktop's workspaces like so. Uh, I believe that's the default in Ubuntu. Uh, to change that if you're in um, uh, cube mode in Compiz, uh, there's the Compiz settings manager, um, which under Ubuntu will be under uh, the third menu over here under preferences and you'll see Compiz uh, advanced setting manager. Uh, if it's not installed, it should be in your package manager. And what you would do uh, for what we're what I'm about to show you is if you're on cube, uncheck the cube and rotate cube, uncheck those and check wall. Um, but I'm pretty sure by default in Ubuntu it is the wall which slides like this. So now we're going to add some workspaces. We're going to right click on our little switcher panel here and we're going to go to preferences and you have columns and rows and as you add these you'll see, well let me do columns first. Right now we have one row with four columns. If we up this number you can see this growing here and that's adding more workspaces. Let me go back to here and the most I can get on my computer, and I'm assuming that's just the max, is 15 columns and you can start adding rows as well which you can slide through and uh, the max I can add there is also 15. So as I move, you'll see my grid doesn't even fit on my screen right now. I have so many workspaces that I can go to. So that's how you uh, add workspaces and remove workspaces just by changing the number of columns and rows here. I like it at four columns, one row. I believe in Ubuntu it is the uh, default is uh, two columns. But, so just thought that was fun. Um, so 15 by 15, uh, I believe that's 225 workspaces. I really have no clue why you would ever need that many, but it's just fun to see how many you could have. Um, as I said, I went to wall mode. If you were in cube mode, um, I believe it will only let you stay in your column while uh, or in that single row. So I'll add this. I'll you know I'll turn the rows up. So now when I rotate my cube, you can see I have 15 of them. But if I add my rows up here, it's still you don't see those rows. And I guess you can still switch them with the switcher here. Maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like when you're in cube mode, it lets you only stay in that top row. So that's why I switched to wall mode earlier. Uh, I'm going to put it back to 1 and 4, and now I've got my regular cube there. So that's how you add uh, and subtract workspaces, and you can have up to 225 of them. I hope this was a fun video for you, and uh, have a great day.